You know, aside from being really high off the ground, mm-hmm. it just feels like a normal Tacoma right now. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 New 2003 Toyota Tacoma. Now let's talk about the truck that you built. Okay. Uh, when I pulled up here, I was just so blown away. <laughs> you know, because I've shot in Oahu a couple times now, and mm-hmm. I know that classic JDM uh, Toyotas, Nissans, Mazdas, they're really popular in Hawaiian car culture. Right. What I didn't expect was this behemoth of a Tacoma. <laughs> My goodness. What's the story with this truck? So I started off with my uncle. Um, he got it from uh, one of our cousins. And it was just sitting in the back of the property. It was full of rubbish. It didn't run. So he brought it to me and he's like, can you, can you make it? A little higher, so I started off with a three inch. Lift it, bro, lift it. Three inch, and then you kept going. <laughs> From a three inch, yes. And then he was like, oh, it looks good, I wanna paint it. So we ended up painting it, and then. You painted all this? No, I had artworks do oh, the okay. painting. I've done all the, the lift and everything else. The biggest feature of this build is the 2J. <laughs> Was this a four cylinder or a six cylinder? This was vehicle? originally a V6, okay. uh, 3.4, yes. Got it. So we did have a chance to take it for a drive already and I was just so blown away at how much power this thing has. Look at this, okay. I love seeing Alex just try to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when we were going for our drive, you were saying that you actually didn't need to cut anything on this to make this fit. Yeah, no cutting. So your uncle's like, hey, I got this taco. It's kind of rough. I need your help to build it up. And then where did it go from there? So I started as just a, a backyard project truck to get it going so he could use it for fishing or hunting. And when I first did it, it was so nice. He was like, oh, I just want to keep continuing building it. So it started off with um, just this color with a 3-4. And he was like, uh, I want to do something different, he told me. So. After a, a good month of research and you know looking at things, I had a, a Toyota Tacoma transmission, and I also had I have a few um, Toyota Supra transmissions. So when I looked at those transmissions, the bell housings looked the same. So I I took off the bell housing off of my 1JZ, and it bolted right up to the R150 four-wheel drive transmission. And so that's a five speed. Five speed. And yes. then it has a transfer case built yes. into, or it's, it's behind the transmission, yes. right? Yes, it's a factory, it's a factory 1995 to 04 R150F transmission. It comes in any V6 model Toyota Tacoma. I can't believe it just bolts up. Yes. I have CX racing motor mounts. Is it a common swap? Well, back when I was doing it, no. Then why is it that they, they actually made those? They make it for a pre-runner. God. They don't okay. make it for a four-wheel drive because most, most of these Toyota 2Js, they didn't know that they could mount it to a four-wheel drive transmission. They're usually running a Toyota Supra transmission with a pre-runner. I see, I see. So okay. after you know, a few months and you know, leftover parts that I had in my, my garage, one day I grabbed the bell housing and fit right in. I looked at the spline, I grabbed my, my clutch disc from my Toyota Supra. It fit right on top of the, the transmission. So I knew my clutch would fit. I knew the bell housing would bolt up to the motor and the transmission. So it was a bolt up affair at that point. I'm really surprised actually that the, the engine bay is long enough for this motor. Yes. On top of that, you have a pretty big radiator. Um, it looks like you have a front mount fan set up. You yes. probably uh, you have to do that for packaging. Yes, sure. and I do that because I have AC as well. So where's the condenser? Right there. Oh, it's right, it's right behind the fans. Yes. Got it. And then the inner cooler. So that's why. It's I, funny because on a lot of 2J swaps, 
you just don't have the room for an yes. intercooler, right? But no, the don't fact have is, this is so tall, that and it, it actually kind of looks cool. Right underneath it, that yeah. That the intercooler is just right underneath the radiator, huh? Yes. Or it's at least like kind of in front of it, but halfway down. Yeah. That is so neat. Another thing I'm really surprised about is that where the shift knob and where the transfer case, all yes. the controls, it actually lined up pretty good, huh? It's a, actually a little set back. It is set back two and a half inches. So I took off the, the original factory um, shifter boot mm -hmm. and it's just set back. It's, it's actually not bad. It yeah. looks okay. So by right, it's supposed to be right up to here. Oh, it's supposed got to go it, a little got over. Got it. So we didn't finish with the interior in here. This is a 97 with a 04 interior. So it has power windows and a newer dash. Mm. So it's actually a 97. So then 37 inch. Yes. Or 38. 38 Even by 26. So by 26 by 16. It's just so ridiculous. So it's a little stretch on this rim. I, a little bit. Okay, yeah. yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. These and then wheels that's are our custom insane. rim we ordered as well. These wheels are As so the name crazy. of the car. I'm the truck, excuse me. <laughs> uh, what is the name? Poor Boy's Dream. Built by Alex right there. Yeah. Amazing. You know, the thing is, there's just a certain Hawaiian style when it comes to building these Tacomas. As a lot of people probably know uh, or may not know, the Toyota Tacoma is the most sold vehicle in all of Hawaii, the entire state. Yeah. But why is it so popular? They're really reliable. They get a lot of miles. Pretty simple to fix too. And it's, it's not like too a, complicated. You can go to the beach, you can put your surfboard in the back. Yes. You can go anywhere on the island. Hunting, fishing, take your family. You know, some of us have four doors and stuff, so our whole family fits in. The feature that is so important on this build is the fact that you retain the four-wheel drive functionality, yes. including low range. Yes. The transfer case, all of it works as normal. Yes. Like a regular Tacoma. Did you have to modify the frame at all or anything no, like that? No, no frame modifications. Steering. The cross member boats up, the steering boats up. I Wild. did I did use a, a rear a rear uh, oil pan so I could clear the the differential for the four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And what is that out of? The that's a Mark IV Supra oil pan. Okay. It, it's a rear sump. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So Supras, they make, you know, mid sumps and, and uh, front sumps. So then how much power does this make, you think, the way it sits right now? I would now? say definitely in the 380s, 400. Yeah, um, the way it spins these 38s yeah. easily. Yeah. It's, so it's making maybe three times more power than stock, Yeah. right? How, how much did these make, the 3.4s? Like 180 or 100? I think so. Something like that? I know these two Jay-Z engines, they make just as much torque as horsepower. So that's why it likes to just spin the tire like nothing. <laughs> so then what kind of turbo is this? This is a CX Racing Turbo Kit. I bought that with the, the motor mounts. So that's basically what I have is my turbo kit and my motor mounts and the intercooler is CX Racing. Everything else on this engine is completely slow, including the computer. It's reliable. I mean, from what I can Very, tell. Yeah. Very dependable, you, you can turn the key and drive anywhere on the island, any time of the day. The fact that you're able to get the speedometer to work correctly, yeah. right? It, it's accurate, right? Yes. The speed. And also on top of that, the tack, everything, all works. of that works. Yes. Yeah, including some of the warning lights too. Yes, all the warning lights work. Check engine light as well. Oh. Yeah. So I had it specially wired for that. So if something, you know, Trouble code comes on, it'll go on like a normal car. You just plug it into the OBD2 yeah. part. Yeah. Incredible, I love it. <clears throat> I just, I didn't expect to see this here. <laughs> I think it's so cool. You know, us just driving around the block, people were just so stuck to see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a head turner. Yeah.
It sounds good. It's not very loud. No, well, it has a full exhaust, three inch. It's a Tanabe. The, the turbo kind of really... <laughs> Amazing. I love this thing, man. So cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you wanna support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.